Hello, this is Kieran from ServerPro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to change the locale or language in Essentials and how to customize all the messages that are displayed with the Essentials plugin. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you want to do is go to this web page, and there'll be a link to this down in the description below. And then once you're here, you'll need to identify the locale or language code for your um, language. So I'm English, so if I just look here, mine says it's EM. If you're um, Polish, it's, for example, PL. And then once you've got that, you can scroll down and under this custom messages option, where it says you can find the latest messages files here, click on the link that it provides you with. And it should take you to a page similar to this. So first, you'll need to find the messages properties file for your language. So in my case, I'm EN. So if I go to that and open it, and then we're going to need to copy all this data. So if we just highlight it all by scrolling to the bottom and scroll up to select it all. And then we're going to click right click and copy. Then once you've copied that, go to your control panel for your server on Server Pro. And then once you're here, go to the file manager, go to the plugins folder, and then the essentials folder. And then we're going to click new file. So then the file name, we'll need to go back here and we're going to call it the same as the one that you just opened. So in this case, it's messages underscore en dot properties. So messages underscore en dot properties, click OK. Then we're going to enter that file and we're going to paste all of the information there. So now that you've added all that, you can click save and then go to the config.yml file for essentials. And then we're going to quick search, which is control F or command F if you're on Mac and then search for locale. We're going to remove the hash tag before and then we're going to leave it as EN because I'm English. But if you're Polish, you would change this to PL and um, but mine's EN. So I'm going to leave it as EN. Then we're going to click save and then we're going to restart the server. So once you've edited the config.yml file and added the messages properties file for your language and restarted your server, you're pretty much ready to start editing it. So if we just join our server so we can check that Essentials is working correctly before we start editing it. And you can see here that it's given me an MOTD already. Um, and then if we just run a command such as slash warps, you can see that it is returning a value. And if we just double check that by typing slash plugins, you can see that all the plugins are green. So that's perfect. So now we can continue. So if we just go back to this messages properties file that we added earlier. So here we can start editing what is actually displayed with essentials. So let's take a look at this balance message here. So this first part here, which is highlighted, so backslash U00A7A, that is the color code. So that color, as you can see, I've added a little picture on the screen. So that color would be a light green. So if we wanted to change that color from a light green to let's say a red, we'd set the same color code for dark red, which is U00A74. So I've set that. So that means that the balance message will be red. So say we also wanted to add um, your balance is, that would also customize the message as well. And then the next part is here. So this is the second color code which is a light red, and then the zero stands for the balance that is displayed. So if we change this to, let's say, um, a light blue, and then if we click save, and then we go back in game and type slash ESS reload, and if we type slash balance, you can see that the color code has changed and it has got your balances rather than the default balance. So if we just go back to the messages properties file, this is all you basically need to know for editing the file. It's really simple and um, you can edit any messages you like, add any color code you like. And if you were to say remove a message file, so say there's currency message, um, it would just refer to the default value for the essentials plugin. Um, but that's basically all you need to know. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our support and um, they'll be happy to help with any problems that you might have with this. Um, and feel free to suggest in the comments down below any future tutorials that you'd like to see. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day and goodbye.